Hi, this is Doug Wolf at Boise State University, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Sweet Home 3D in order to uh, create some rooms that you can use for scenes in your adventure game. Um, you can download the Sweet Home 3D software from sweethome3d.com. Uh, they also have an online version you can use, but I recommend downloading it because you get a few more features that you don't get in the online version. So. In this video, we're going to cover uh, just a couple of things, how to create your walls and rooms, so how to get the basic room created. And as with many pieces of software, there are a number of ways that you can do this. And after experimenting around a bit, this is the method that seems to work the smoothest for me. Um, I do it by beginning with drawing the walls first. Um, another way to do it is to create the rooms first, where you kind of draw sort of an overhead view of the rooms, the, the shapes of the rooms, and then you can build walls automatically on those. But I've had problems because the walls don't always join up the way you expect them to. Um, the walls have a certain thickness in adjoining rooms. The walls don't end up having, a, the rooms don't end up having a common wall if you do it that way. So I found it's better to make the walls first and then create the rooms. So I've clicked the um, Create Rooms button and it gives me this little tip explains a few things. And uh, I, just for convenience, you notice they give you a grid with some dimensions marked. I'm going to start at 0, 0 um, just because it helps me with measuring. And I'm going to make my first room 15 feet by 15 feet. You notice as I drag, it gives me a little uh, pop-up that tells me how long I'm making it. And you can also, oops, sorry. Click, this is rather than click and drag, this is click and then uh, click a second point. And then I can continue clicking. So I'm going to go ahead and make this wall 15 feet as well. And come over here. And you notice it gives me a little dashed line to help me line things up. So I'm going to click that one. And then to finish off the room, when I get back to my starting point, you notice it highlights the first wall to let me know I'm going to connect to that. If I double click, that finishes it off. If you forget to double click and you single click, just hit the escape key. Okay, so there I've got one wall. Um, before you start your next room, it's helpful to go back to the select arrow and just click to deselect those walls. All right, for my second room, I'm going to make kind of a long and skinny one and I'm going to start over in this corner and again you'll notice it may be hard to see in the video but it's giving me some little um, lines to show me I'm lining up with the, uh, the two walls here. I'm going to click and this one I'm going to come out another 15 feet. Okay there we go and this time I'm only going to go about seven, well, let's make it maybe seven and a half feet wide. And then when I come over here, again, I get a little dashed line showing me I'm lined up with another wall, and I'm just going to double click to finish it off. Okay? Because this piece of wall here is a common wall for these two rooms. All right, now that I've created the walls, I need to create the rooms that these walls are a part of. And to do that, I come over here and grab the Create Room tool. And what this message that popped up basically tells you is that uh, you can click and drag to create a room, or if you already have walls enclosing an area, you can just double click inside that area to make a room. So I've just made an official room there, and my long skinny one, I make that into a room as well. Okay, I'm going to go back to my selection arrow, and the next thing I want to do is um, I want to give some basic decor to this room. So paint the walls, put in some flooring, that kind of thing. And uh, I can either right click and choose, um, oops, excuse me, either, sorry, select the room, then right click it and choose modify rooms, or I can just double click the room and it'll bring up this dialog box. This dialog box can save you a little bit of time because you can quickly do all of the wall colorings at once. So, I want to display a floor. I'm going to use a texture and I want to use the wooden floor. Oops. And before I say OK, I want to display a ceiling and I want its color to be white. I will warn you that when you render your final images, quite often white ceilings don't come out as white. And I fretted over that for a while until I looked around my own home and realized that when you've got 
lamps and things on in the room, um, your white ceilings don't look completely white either. Um, they've got shadows and things. And then finally the walls, uh, let's just go ahead and give them a basic blue color for this room. Okay, and now you can see this overhead view. Um, don't worry about the fact for the moment, it, for some reason, I'm not sure if it's a bug in the software or something about the lighting it's computing, but you notice that it gave me a lighter shade of blue on this one wall. I'm just not going to worry about that. Um, that's something that in, when I render images later, that should take care of itself. Okay, and then I need to quickly um, take care of this room. So on this one, I'm going to give it a uh, gray tile floor. And uh, let's go ahead and go with a white ceiling on this one as well. And then uh, maybe we'll give this one some light yellow walls. Okay. So that is the basics of how to create rooms. In the next video, we'll talk about how to furnish your rooms and how to add things like doors and windows.